station on Space to Ground. Prepare for landing. Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Isidro Reyna. This week, three crew members on board station are getting ready for a trip back to Earth. Shane Kimbrough, Sergei Rizikov, and Andrei Borisenko are slated to travel back to Earth on Monday for a landing in Kazakhstan. Kimbrough will relinquish command of the station to Peggy Whitson on April 9th, which will mark her second time as commander of the orbiting laboratory. Poised to break the record for cumulative time spent in space by a U.S. astronaut, Whitson is set to extend her mission with an additional three months into Expedition 52. Be sure to watch the entire event on NASA TV. With another spacewalk in the books, Mission Control Houston reflects on finding answers to a problem 250 miles above the Earth. Traveling 12 times the speed of a bullet, a cloth blanket got away during the March 30th spacewalk and immediately drifted out of reach into space, away from the station, forever. While it posed no danger to the crew as it floated away, there was an immediate problem. An important station docking port needed the blanket for protection from the extremes of space. Mission Control Houston went to work to come up with a solution for protecting the port with a different cover removed earlier in the spacewalk. A team of designers, analysts, and engineers worked behind the scenes with operations engineers, flight controllers, and crew members to solve the problem and leave plenty of time to accomplish every task on the spacewalk. This week's question comes from students at Betsy Ross Elementary School. They want to know how astronauts consume nutrients in space. Let's check in with the crew on board the station. Great question. Food is always an important part of everybody's uh, world, I guess. And same with us. Peggy's showing you a few of our choices here with a drink bag, a pouch of food, as well as a dehydrated food. Uh, we do have 150 or so, I think, and that is actually very good. It does give us a lot of variety so that we don't get bored with the same food over and over. And we're lucky enough to have Russian crewmates as well as French astronauts on this mission. So we get to enjoy Russian food as well as French food sometimes. So it keeps the, the variety nice and it doesn't let us get bored with what we're having. But it's very important for us to eat enough and get the nutritional value that you mentioned um, so that our bones and our muscles don't decay while they're up here in space. Keep sending your questions using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.